Back to All Talk with Tom Jordan and Kevin Dietz, 760 WJR. Just over a week now, if the city of Dearborn has a new mayor, Abdullah Hamoud was sworn in January 15th, Kevin, and says he is now on a mission. Yeah, he was a former Michigan state representative serving three terms representing his hometown of Dearborn. And uh, last November, elected Dearborn's first Arab American mayor. Uh, WJR senior news analyst Lloyd Jackson had a chance to sit down with him and Lloyd joins us now. Hey, Lloyd. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you know, on the Paul W. Smith Show this morning, it was part one of my conversation with the newly elected Dearborn Mayor Abdullah Hamoud. He discussed accountability and accessibility to the citizens of Dearborn to solve problems together. Also, the importance of a diverse administration and how he wants to quell the ghost of former Mayor Orville Hubbard once and for all. Now, in part two of my conversation with Mayor Hamoud, I brought up the fact that for years, some African-Americans outside the city of Dearborn feel there is racial profiling by police when they enter the city. Mayor Hamoud says he has a new police chief, Issa Shaheen, the first Muslim police chief in Dearborn and in the state of Michigan. And before they both took office, he said they sat down and spoke and made changes in the vision of public safety. We're no longer targeting, you know, folks for non-moving violations. Things such as expired license plates or missing insurance or dangling ornaments in your windshield. What we're doing is we're focusing on things that impact your immediate public health, speeding, reckless driving, potential uh, uh, DUIs, uh, individuals uh, driving under the influence. And that does two things. One, it addresses a real issue that's impacting the safety of a potential family or children in the neighborhood. And secondly, it's eliminating some racial bias that's imposed on an officer that might pull someone over for a non-moving violation. Now, I asked Mayor Hamoud how he plans on working with his new city council to solve the city's biggest problems while being transparent. And the way I see my city council is I say I have seven partners uh, to partner with on an agenda that can help move our city forward. And so we're doing our best to, you know, accommodate, uh, you know, and, and to work alongside our council uh, men and women in order to advance agendas and priorities that we can all come to agreements with. Now, Mayor Hamoud says that doesn't mean a dictatorship style of government. It's not my goal to have seven votes on every ordinance that I bring forward. Uh, that, that, that's not doing anyone, uh, uh, you know, that's doing, that's doing people a disservice, frankly. It's, uh, we need to have disagreement. Disagreement leads to, I think, a stronger vision, stronger ideas. And compromise is not a dirty word. Uh, compromise is something that we're willing to come to the table to realize and achieve. Uh, but as long as it's a compromise, that prioritizes the concerns and the quality of life for Dearborn residents. So I very much look forward to that partnership with our council. And we have one heck of a council, I have to say. The 31-year-old mayor said in his inaugural address that he will make mistakes along the way and he will not always succeed. Now, there are not a lot of uh, politicians of any that will admit that out loud. And I asked Mayor Hamoud, why was that so important to say? And it's really in those moments where you fail, uh, where you learn more of yourself and those around you uh, than in any other situation. And so I thought it, it prudent that I speak to them, that I, that I know I'm young, because uh, people point that out. Uh, I know I might be the first, although we never ran to be the first, we ran to be the best. Uh, but no one bats perfectly, you know, and, um, you know, so those failures will be made, mistakes will be made, um, but not out of any ill intention. Now, coming up at 348 on The Guy Gordon Show, the conclusion of my conversation with Mayor Hamoud, he gives me an example of what he says is a co-governing system with the citizens of Dearborn. Also, how he plans on dealing with the COVID pandemic and opioid abuse in his city, plus some words from the late John Dingle that stuck with him. That's coming up at 348.